Sawadi Krab and welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Masanta and we're right here at Naughty Nuri's, Putong's newest establishment. They have probably the best ribs in the world and we're gonna learn more about them a little later. But until then, let's catch you up with all the news you need to know. Is it a case of miscommunication? That's what the six sea gypsies are saying after they were arrested on Monday, accused of illegally caching fish near a national park. The men were picked up at Sirinat National Park in the far north of Phuket as one of the men was in the water allegedly fishing, according to police, which is illegal in a national park in Thailand, although the quote suspects maintain that they were treating severe decompression sickness. It was relayed that the group were on their way back from a fishing trip in Pang Na when one of them was sick with decompression sickness and they made an emergency stop at the national park but officials busted them and are forcing them to pay a fine of two to three thousand baht each. The case is still unresolved, however. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. And was that Yingluck? Photos have recently emerged, possibly showing the former prime minister and Thai fugitive Yingluck Shinawat in London. The photos emerged early last week, showing a woman resembling Yingluck at a shopping center in West London, in addition to another with a woman outside a different shopping outlet. Yingluck fled Thailand late on August 24, just hours before the Supreme Court was to announce their judgment on her rice pledging scheme corruption trial in which she was later handed a five-year jail term for failure to stop the corrupt government-to-government -government rice sales. Officials say they're trying to extradite Yingluck, though they do surmise that the former PM had to have used a passport from another country to enter England since her Thai passports were recently revoked. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. And allegations of exorbitant prices for food and drink at both of the main airports in Bangkok is prompting the Prime Minister to step in and order inspections on the whole thing. The move follows complaints from passengers, most of whom are Japanese, who fly to both Suvarnabhum and Don Muang Airport in Bangkok, saying that the prices of water bottles are over four times higher at the airport than at the shops. An article on the website ThaiCH.net, a Japanese travel website, has been making the rounds on social media, fueling the complaints, adding complaints about the taxis and more, causing Prime Minister Prayu chan -cha to order relevant agencies to smooth out the issues. Hey, it's in tight. We'll get extra. We'll be right back after this. Extra. And 45,000 tons of garbage on Koh Tao Island will be no more as officials finally plan to clear Garbage Mountain once and for all. The foul-smelling mountain of garbage had officials worried since it could damage the reputation of this 23 square kilometer island in the middle of the Gulf of Thailand, so officials have signed a new deal with a local firm to properly dispose all of it. Garbage had mounted on Koh Tao ever since the only garbage incinerator went idle with nobody to operate it, according to the Bangkok Post. But officials say once it's gone, they'll begin to introduce better waste management measures, including recycling. And since we're right here at Naughty Nui's, Patong's newest establishment, probably the best ribs in the world, we spoke to the president of Naughty Nui's, Peter, and the executive chef of the international group, Eddie, to learn more. Here in uh, Phuket is the biggest restaurant, it's a flagship of uh, Northern Race across Asia. It's built on uh, 24,000 square feet uh, land and uh, build up space is around 16,000 square feet. It sits around 550 people, very comfortable. Now we are in Singapore, we are in Melbourne and uh, now we are in Thailand. So it's about the ribs, it's, Northern Race is about the ribs. Many people, many customers, many hotels people, hospitality, F&B people actually came down and asked me, uh, Chef, what actually do you put the ribs? Why is it so good? So I, I actually, actually, I use fruit. So I use a lot of papaya. Papaya and I use uh, pineapple. It's the basic things to actually marinate the ribs to have a little bit of aroma and some flavor and actually it's a natural tenderizer. We have approximately 75% approval rate on our ribs, we have 58% return rate on our customers. We, we just hope that we want to talk to our guests, everybody else. If they got any feedback, please let us know. But we want to know who is better than us. 
but because we claim ourselves as the probably the best ribs in the world. Yeah. Thank you so much to Peter and Eddie for speaking with us. That's it for Phuket Extra today. If you want to check out Naughty Nuris yourself, they're right here in the heart of Patong, Ratchetit P200 Road. Come out and check out probably the best ribs in the world. From all of us at Phuket Extra, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Here in uh, Phuket is the biggest restaurant, it's the flagship of uh, Northern Race across Asia. It's built on uh, 24,000 square feet uh, land and uh, build up space is around 16,000 square feet. It sits around 550 people, very comfortable. We have uh, 43 uh, kind of dishes in our menu. Uh, sometimes we, we move up to 51. Every three months we actually uh, change our menu, certain parts of our menu so that people don't get bored. But the signatures will remain where we started in Ubud in Bali, then we are in Malaysia, now we are in Singapore, we are in Melbourne, and uh, now we are in Thailand. So it's about the ribs. It's not in ribs, it's about the ribs. Many people, many customers, many hotels people, hospitality, FB people actually came down and asked me. Uh, Chef what actually do you put the ribs? Why is it so good? So I, I actually actually I use fruit. So I use a lot of papaya. Papaya and I use uh, pineapple. It's the basic things to actually marinate the ribs to have a little bit of aroma and some flavor and actually it's a natural tenderizer. But the sauce is, well, who know? I cannot say that. Asian has very good spices and all that. Uh, we believe that uh, with this mixture of Western and Asian herbs and spices, we come up with a very special uh, 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 recipe and uh, we have approximately 75% approval, approval rate on our ribs. We have 58% return rate on our customers. We, we just hope that we want to talk to our guests, everybody else. If they got any feedback, please let us know. But we want to know who is better than us. But because we claim ourselves as the, probably the best ribs in the world. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs>